this is Radio Romania on the uh, Shoyong LC90 and I found why it crackled in the speaker. When you go on shortwave, turn off the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi was creating that crackle every time packets of data were going through. So I turned off Wi-Fi and it works fine. listeners in North America, the East Coast. We can also be heard on the internet at www.rri.rl, channel one. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and other social media platforms. Our programs are also available on TuneIn, Radio Romania International One. We wish you good reception conditions. in the second Timisoara in Western Romania. The Prime Minister of Romania, Marcel Ciolacu, has held talks in Bucharest with the European Commissioner for International Partnerships, Yuta Orkalainen. And Romania's Tarom National Air Transport Company will receive aid from the European Commission until the end of the month and then enter a stage of economic reorganization. Government convened in a special session on Thursday in Timisoara, Western Romania, where it endorsed, among other things, a series of infrastructure projects with regional impact. One of these projects is the construction of a stadium with a capacity of 30,000 seats, an investment estimated at 167 million euros, expected for years by the locals. The cabinet has also endorsed the opening of the international border checkpoint in Beba Vike for the international traffic of people and goods. A decision has also been approved so that pensioners will get their pensions before the Orthodox Easter. Russia's aggression against Ukraine, in addition to challenges to security in the area, also led to the disruption of global markets and supply chains, said Prime Minister Marcel Cholaco at the meeting he had on Thursday in Bucharest with Yuta Erpelainen, the European Commissioner for International Partnerships. The head of the government presented Romania's steps to develop connectivity to the Black Sea as part of the EU strategy to invest in infrastructure projects worldwide. You could see that the um, signal-to-noise ratio is what's used for uh, displaying the signal strength. And uh, here I've set the uh, filter at 3 kilohertz. I'll make videos on how to use the radio. I think it will be helpful for a lot of people. But uh, this is Radio Romania 11.620 kHz. Let's try uh, out of curiosity. 13.750. Yeah, here's some FM breakthrough. I don't hear anything. Should be Radio Thailand, but maybe also propagation isn't good. So, Radio Romania 11.620. On the uh, Shoyong LC90 smart radio. Gringano said that with this European aid, Tarom will enter a period of reorganization aimed at placing the company on solid economic principles. He said that an operator the size of Tarom usually has between 500 and 600 employees of which over 90% are seafarers, while Tarom has doubled the number of employees, which is not sustainable. In this respect, Grindano stated that although the objective is to attract investors, 
the possibility of making 50% of the employees redundant is not excluded. Thursday was the last day of work for the present European legislature. In a speech before Parliament in Strasbourg, its president, Roberta Metzola, has voiced satisfaction for the laws which were endorsed during the five-year mandate of the debates hosted by the aforementioned institution and for the way in which the present members of the legislature dealt with all the challenges such as the pandemic and the war in Ukraine. She wished all those running for a fresh term in office strength, patience and success and to do everything they can so that Europe may come closer to the citizens. The Europeans will vote for their parliament in early June. Romania will be holding elections for the European Parliament on the 9th of June this year. Leaders of 18 countries, including Romanian President Klaus Johannes, on the Thursday signed a joint declaration calling for the release of the hostages in the Gaza Strip. We are asking for the immediate release of all the hostages Hamas has held for 200 days. Some of our citizens are among these hostages.